Hey everybody, this is Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and I hope you're doing well today. I have a God card. You could definitely do this for Father's Day. That's coming up, at least at the time I'm filming this video. But you don't have to do that. You can just, I just have Dad on there. So you could totally change the sentiment and whatever. But I had this cardstock or this designer series paper and I wanted to use it. So I started with just an HE size card in the craft paper, which is not carrying over to the new catalog. Catalog. So if you want to get in, in uh, I believe Gorgeous Grunge, if I'm not mistaken, is this one of the ones that is retiring? Oh, I'm blanking out. Anyway, go over and check out the retiring list in the clearance rack and see what great deals you can get because there are some things that are just not going over and come June 1st you're not going to be able to order them. You can get to that by CynthiaMainer.com. Click on the Stampin' Up and then follow the prompts there. So um, this is banner is done with the banner banner framelits which is retiring as well set there are some missing in here obviously they're on my craft table somewhere um but they cut out um nice perfect banners so if you're worried about making wonky cuts this is a good set for you so i believe the last time i looked which was yesterday i think that there was still a set of framelits there so it's just a good standard shape Sky Greetings, which is carrying over, and this is a great, this is the photopolymer one, and um, it's got a lot of great words there for all the guys in your life, father, uncle, brother, grandpa, husband, dad, and it's got some great little sentiments for various occasions, um, <laughs> it's got some sort of vintagey things there, I love the wingtip shoes and the hats and like them. I just put dad and I put the hats on my um, banner here. And it's a matter of cutting some different pieces. So I already said the card base, it has the silver foiling on it and I just love that. I, I love girly girly stuff but I also love this kind of industrial feel about that. So this is cut to five and a half by oh, uh, two inches. So that's going to go offset here to the side. So that's our first layer. But actually before we put that down, what you can do is cut out all your pieces first. And then we're going to do some stamping in the background so we have a little bit of texture. I have a piece here. I cut these out like a week ago so I'm blanking out on how much they are. But three and a half by three. And then one slightly smaller than that, three and a quarter by two and three quarters. So just gives you a quarter inch um, border there. And then our banner. And then I use our little splatter stamp while we can. It is well loved. <laughs> I've used it. Probably this is the stamp set I've used the most, I would have to say. Um, I definitely get a lot of mileage out of it. So it, it pays for itself. So I'm roughly laying out where I want these things to be. So I want my splatters to kind of come out in this direction. So I'm just going to ink that up really quickly. at that. It's like the perfect splatter. We love splatters, right? Let's see if that's going to, sorry about hitting the camera there. Let's see if that's going to be enough. I'll put some on this side. It's a second generation stamping there. I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere down my strip of specialty paper. Fold. That would be funny. <laughs> so super simple layering cards. I'm working on some sketch packages that can kind of inspire you for layouts and things. So hopefully uh, that'll be a help to people um, as well as myself. Sometimes, sometimes you just create a creative juices flow so much that you get kind of overwhelmed and you forget everything that you know. Okay, so just a matter of layering. And you could put this wherever you want. I mean, this is just, just there to inspire. You 
know what? I just had an idea. There were some embellishments that go with this, and I didn't get them, and now they're going to be, they're not carrying over. So I had these washers. These are just from the hardware store, and i um, thinking I might put one on here. Let's see. You know me. i got to change my mind in the middle of, <laughs> middle of stuff. This is the way I roll. Let's go ahead and start tying your knot there. And then I'm going to feed one of the washers. Look, even my nail polish matches. That is from Butter London. I love their nail polish. I don't always remember to put nail polish on. But <laughs> and I can't have long nails because I'm a pianist and that does not work well. <laughs> um, but when I do, I like to have a little bling. All right. So I'm just going to kind of tie that on. You can hear. Did I tie it in the knot? Okay. It just gets a little something without being, you know, super girly. I think I'm going to sponge around the side of that. Just because we have so many patterns going on, we want to find lines. So. And I think I'm going to put that up on dimensionals because I love foam. Look at that was my other was playing around with that and decided not to go with that. It's going to go with Dad this time. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and put that kind of in the middle of that first strip that we did there. If that makes sense. Now you could just leave it like this. You could do some stamping on the inside, uh, on the envelope. I often will do that because I, I, especially if I have an envelope, if it's not patterned paper, I really like to mimic the stamp that's in there. So I would stamp the little shoes or the little hats or something, or even the gorgeous grunge stamp set and, you know, incorporate that in there. But go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And um, check out my website and see what's on the clearance rack and retiring. You can also order the Eastern Palace bundles uh, until May 31st, 2017. There are two to choose from and they're a great deal. It's a great stamp set and dies. Thanks guys. <laughs> Have a great day.